Hi, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. Let me show you another feature in this great software. Sometimes when you're working with objects, whether they be images, shapes, text, whatever, you want to look at the object properties for that particular object so you can change its settings. Normally what you can do, almost every time, is just simply double click on an object to bring up its object properties. This right here is an image that I'm using on my website. If I double click on it, I bring up a window that's called the object properties. Now this is the object properties for this specific image and allows me to change attributes for this object. In other words, since it's an image, I can change the image by clicking this button and going to another image and changing it. I can add what's called alt text or alternate text to this image for search engine optimization purposes. Add a title to this image for the same reason or do things like add borders or reflections or opacity, etc. All of that happens in the object properties window as well as linking, adding special effects. In this case, because it's an image, I can add watermark or trigger an event, animation, etc. Depending on the object you're working with, those object properties will vary. So for example, let's go down here and work with, instead of an image, let's take this green ball here. This is actually a shape, not an image. It's a little bit different. When I double click on this, I bring up the properties for a shape. As you can see, it says here. Now with a shape, I can change the attributes. I can change what kind of shape it is from a menu of many, many shapes. I can change the color, what kind of background it is, solid, gradient, etc. If it has a border, how big, what color, what happens when I hover over the shape. I can add text to the shape, make it a link, add special effects, decide how I want the shape published as an image, or in my case, I want it published as code because it loads faster. If I want to trigger an event, etc. All of this happens in the object properties window. But one thing you should know about is, since there are other kinds of objects you can work with, you should know that there are many ways to get to the object properties. For example, if I wanted to get to the object properties of, say, some text, this is a text object. Well, double clicking on it won't really help because when you double click on text, you don't bring up the object properties, you actually go into edit mode. That's unique for a text object. So then it begs the question, so how do I get to the object properties of this object? Well, fortunately, there's multiple ways. So another way to get to object properties is to, in fact, right click on an object and it brings up a menu where you can go down to where it says object properties. This is outside of the camera, so let me lower this a little bit right click and go to object properties. If I click on this, it does bring up a window for the text object where I can set the properties. So again, that's convenient, another way to do it. But let me show you one other feature in 90 Second Website Builder you may have noticed. I'm gonna move the camera so you can see it better. Over here to the side, we have a palette called the Properties Inspector. That's what this is right here. And the Properties Inspector is always showing me the object properties of any object that's currently selected. Right now, since that particular text object is still selected, the properties inspector is showing me the properties for that text object. It happens to be called text object number nine. But if I go over here and I change to, let's say, this image, I'm going to select this image right here. You'll notice that the properties inspector now shows me the properties of the selected image. If I don't have anything selected, if I deselect this image, then what happens is the properties inspector window shows me the properties of the current page that I'm on. The point is, it's always showing me the properties of the current object. Right now it's a page. So let me go back to selecting the image with my mouse, and you'll see that the properties inspector changed to image 66. I can switch between any of the objects on my page with this pull down menu. If I click here, it lists every single object on my canvas. And if I wanted to switch to a particular object, for example, if I wanted to see the properties of layer number two, I would click on this and this shows me the properties of that object. Or again, any object that's selected by my mouse will be represented here in the properties inspector window. So why a properties inspector window? Well, it's just another great way to access the attributes of a particular object. When working with images, it can be especially helpful if you want to do something really precise. I'll show you what I mean. So again, we're selecting this image. What if I wanted to move this image just maybe one pixel to the right or to the left? Sometimes moving it with your mouse can be difficult. But if I go to the properties inspector, I can change the position or the coordinates by simply typing in the number. 
So by just changing this to a 5, I've literally moved this image over one pixel. And I can be very precise. I can do the same thing with the sizing of the image, etc. But of course the Properties Inspector also allows me to change every other attribute. The opacity, so right now it's 100% opaque. If I change this to 50 and click Enter, you can see the object went transparent. 50%, I'll change it back. And basically anything else that you can imagine you can do with a particular object can happen here in the Properties Inspector window. The alt text, even the angle of the object, if I change this to 45 degrees and click enter, look at my object now, it's at an angle. Let me change that back. Where this file is found on my computer, any reflection I may have added, if I want that title. Again, borders, the width of those borders, colors, radius, everything can be done here in the Properties Inspector. One other thing about the Properties Inspector, it is a palette, and palettes can be docked or floating. Right now this one is docked. If I click right here and drag, I can float this palette onto my canvas if I prefer. I can even shrink the size of this window somewhat if I want to work with it out here. I can move it around and make my workspace as custom as I want. Anytime you want to redock a palette, you can right click on it and change it from floating to docking and you'll see it goes right back in place. So that's the basics of accessing the object's properties. Remember you can normally double click or right click or go right to the properties inspector so that you can be very precise with every object's attributes and settings as you're working with them in 90 Second Website Builder.